Hi everyone! I am Giselle Marie Establiso, BSN 3A, and today I will be assessing and classifying cough or difficult breathing. A cough or difficult breathing is a common reason why a mother will bring her child to a clinic. The problem may be a mild cold or it may be a serious problem like pneumonia. Of course, before any procedure, it is important to perform proper hand washing technique to reduce the spread of any bacteria or viruses. It is important to greet and introduce yourself to the client or the guardian to establish trust and cooperation that is necessary in treating a patient. Magandang hapon po, misis. Ano pong problema ng bata? Pumunta po ako kasi itong anak ng sila Lisa, hindi makadede ng maayos. Hindi rin po maganda ang pakiramdam niya kasi ubo ng ubo. Every time na pinapadede ko siya, after ilang minutes, binibitawan niya na parang naghahabol ng hininga. Tapos, babalik ulit para dumede. Saka, parang ang bilis ng paghinga niya. First time din po namin pumunta dito sa clinic. This conversation will promote good communication between you and the guardian. This is important because she will have a lot of responsibility in Lalisa's care. You want her to trust you and understand your direction. Lalisa weighs 5 kilograms. At this point, the guardian stated that Lalisa is not eating solids well and she is taking the breath less than she used to. Upon asking if Lalisa is still able to drink or breastfeed, the guardian answered that Lalisa takes the breath but does not drink it. She does not also vomit or has had any convulsion. In assessing a child for cough or difficult breathing, First thing to do is ask, does the child have cough or difficult breathing? And for how long? Next is to look. Does the child have fast breathing? So, we na po, ma'am. Hindi na natin ang pagkikita ng mata. Mabilis, kumapagal. Gagawin po ito sa pag-measure ng pag-ina niya sa loob ng isang minuto. So, magtatay ka na po ako. Ang bata na igal 2 months to 12 months, now look for chest in drawing. So next thing I'm going to do is put my chest in drawing. Lalisa does not have chest in drawing. To look for chest in drawing, you must know when the child is breathing in. When the child breathes in, the upper chest and abdomen move out. This is a healthy child with normal breathing. When the child breathes in, the upper chest and abdomen move out. The lower chest also breathes out. This child has chest in growing. When the child breathes in, the upper chest and abdomen move out as in the healthy child, but the lower chest moves in. 
just enjoying a quick inward movement in the lower part of the nervous system. After that, look and listen for stridor and tingling. Okay, sa tipo ni Larissa, normal naman ang kanyang pahinga. Wala namang shift in the weight. Next, itingin na ni papakinan ko naman po ngayon. To look and listen for a stridor, look to see when the child blows. Then listen for a stridor. Put your ear near the child's mouth because stridor can be difficult to hear. Then do the same to hear wheezing when the child breathes out. Wala namang stridor or wheezing about After assessing, let's now classify cough or difficult throat sound. Ulitin ko lang po ang data na nakuha ko. Name, Marisa. Age, 6 months. Weight, 5 kg. Temperature, 37. Problem, not feeding well. Not taking other foods. Not taking breath test. And rapid breathing. Initial visit and no general danger signs present. May ubo po ang bata. Let's do the same. 70 seconds per minute. Let's do the same. Rapid breathing. No chest in growing. No stridor. Dahil po sa sign ni Lalisa ang fast breathing, siya po ay classified under yellow category, which is pneumonia. In this case po, hindi natin kailangan ng urgent referral compared to category pink, which is the severe pneumonia or chest and throat disease, which has the presence of any danger sign or stridor in child's mouth. In green classification naman po, which is cough or cold, this has no signs of pneumonia or very severe disease. Kaya wag po kayo mag-alala, misis, may gamot po sa pneumonia. Bibigyan ko po kayo at tuturuan kung paano gamutin si Lalisa sa kanya. And this is how to treat the pneumonia. Para sa treatment ni Lalisa, bibigyan kita ng oral antibiotic at pagtuluan kita kung paano mayunasan. After assessing, classifying, and giving treatment, you will now counsel the caregiver. Thank you.